Over the last set of videos, we have learned that mammography tubes operate at a low kilovoltage, and they require special molybdenum anodes to do so. Let's explore another modification to the X-ray tube. Filtration. Welcome back to EPS Radiography. I'm Michael. Filters are placed at the exit port of an X-ray tube. They help to absorb X-ray photons that have too little energy to contribute to the image. Remember, X-ray photons used in mammography already have little energy. Therefore, if the conventional aluminium filters are used, the useful low-energy photons would be absorbed. In mammography tubes, thinner filters made of molybdenum are used instead. In addition to being less dense than aluminium filters, there is another reason why molybdenum is used. We already mentioned that the anode target in a mammography tube is made of molybdenum. What we haven't mentioned is that useful X-ray photons produced by the molybdenum anode target will have energy that is slightly below the binding energy of molybdenum. This forms the basis of the second reason why we use filters that are also made of molybdenum. This is known as the K-absorption edge phenomenon. Simply put, it means that molybdenum filters are able to selectively allow photons to pass through if they have energy that is only slightly below the binding energy of molybdenum. Anything else is considered useless and is absorbed. So far, we have been discussing added filtration. We should also mention that the mechanism for inherent filtration is also different in mammography tubes. A major source of inherent filtration is in the exit window, which is made of Pyrex glass in conventional tubes. Like you may have guessed, Pyrex glass is too thick to allow the low-energy mammography photons to pass through. So, the exit window of a mammography tube is commonly made of beryllium instead. Another modification made to the mammography tube is the distance between the cathode and the node of the tube. Because of the low kilovoltage used in mammography, the force that attracts electrons from cathode to a node is smaller. Thus, the cathode and the node in a mammography tube are made to be closer to allow this weak attractive force to be sufficient for transporting electrons from cathode to a node. This also provides the advantage of having smaller X-ray tubes in mammography. In conclusion, the major modifications in mammography tubes are in the anode target, filtration, and electrode spacing. In the next video, we wrap this all up. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.